Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use about more than 1000 AI tools completely for free. Yes, I said completely for free. More than 1000 AI tools for different functions from text generation to text to image generation, even text to video generation or video image to video generation. We even have access to some of the tools that can remove background for you, do data analysis, data visualizations. All of these chatbots, you can have access to them for free. Even most of the ones that are very popular and are not free, you can find them completely free, this platform that I'm going to show you. So this platform is none other than Hugging Face. Okay, so once you're on Hugging Face, you can just go ahead, type in your Hugging Face, huggingface.co for slash spaces, just like so, and you'll be landed here. Okay, you just have to log in with your email and password and you'll be landed here. Like I said, there are thousands of different AI tools that you can find here depending on your choice, depending on whatever you want. You can see them from image generation to video generation, text generation, language translation, even synthesis, speech synthesis, 3D modeling, uh, text analysis, image editing. You can see them, you, know, you name them, they are here, okay? Voice cloning, you can have them. So if I just put in something like um, remove background, you can see different kind of um, AI tools for that. Anime remove background, remove background. In browser, uh, background removal, remove background, remove background from images and so on. You can see so many of them, okay? Remove background from an image. You can try any of them. Let's say like this one, for example, and you'll be brought in here. All you need is you can import your image or you can use the example here. You just drag and drop and it will remove the image and you see the output here. Let's try something simple. Let's say I have this, my Flux uh, AI images. You can just bring in one of them. And let's say I'm removing the background of this and I can just go ahead and say submit. And you can see the timing over here. One of, one of the good thing about it is it gives the timing of when it's going to generate. And you can see it has just generated it very, very fast. And the result is stunning. So you can click to download here or you can share directly with your people. You can see we've just downloaded it. And you can always come back to Spaces and you can check anything uh, of your choice. So let's try this one, Lumina image. You can just click. And then let's see how we can generate an image from a prompt. Okay, let's say generate. Okay, generate the image of a lion in a bar drinking coffee. You can have negative things, what not to include, and then system type. I just keep everything, the resolution, I keep it at default. Uh, 1024 by 1024. You can check the sampling steps if you want. I keep everything at default. Let's say submit to this. Wow, this is really, really wonderful. You can see the lion in a bar and drinking coffee. And you can just see if, how fantastic this can be. The quality of the image is highly superb. You can click to download it as well. And you can have access to it. You can see the clarity in the image. The only thing I notice is that it, the lion has two cups, which is an error. But the quality and clarity of the image is definitely next level so this is an ai tool this is a platform for you to try and you can it's completely for free this is this is wonderful this is this is something else so you can go back to spaces and you can try another thing one of the tools that i have tried and i really really enjoy using it is the cloth image let me show you this can I come over here and just type in cloth so this one actually helps you to change the cloth of, of a particular image into something else, someone's uh, into another cloth and you see the sample directly. So let's see, there are different kind of cloth segmentation, cloth, um, yeah, cloth segmentation, uh, segment cloth in images, cloth generator, and so on. I've tried this, Colors Virtual Try-On, which is very, very nice. Uh, let me show you how, how it works. It was really, really fantastic. So what it, what this means is that you can just pick in, drag and drop an image of yours um, that you have, and you can drag another different image example from here. You have another image that maybe a cloth that you want to wear, and you can see this the result from here. Let me try something simple. Um, let's say we'll go with Elon Musk. All right, we drag him and drop on it. All right, so you can see Elon. Okay, so let's see we change this cloth to something else. So let's say we want him to wear this instead of this. Let's let him wear something like this. Or let's let's try this Gucci. 
So we'll just drag this Gucci and drop here. And you'll be surprised how he's going to um, remove this and wear this Gucci. So you can come over here and say run. And you can see the number of seconds. Yeah, this is wonderful. You can see how it has just transformed him from this to this and really, really looking the same, but just the clothing that just uh, changed. You can do that on any of the persons over here. You can do that on this guy as well. And you can ask him to wear the same Gucci or you can ask him to wear something like this. And let's see how it's going to look on him. And you can see it now. <laughs> Take a look at the difference. Yeah, very, very nice and very fantastic. I think this is something else. Very, very good. You can as well download this. Uh, it maintains the background. Just change the color. You can try any of your images and it's going to give you the same result. Now let's go back to uh, our spaces. Okay, back to spaces. And then we can see different kind of things, different kind of um, um, images. You can even check out voice cloning if you're interested. You can see, um, you can add in any voice and you can use anyone. Um, you can search by trending ones, for example, here. You can see uh, clone voice to say text. We can try this one. All you need is to put in a text and then bring in a relevant a relevant audio that you can paste in here, uh, import in here, and then you can click submit. And you have this same audio, this same person read this text directly. So basically you can try anything. Let's say we try video generation. Let's click on video generation. Or you can come over here and you can search by most trending. So let's say trending ones. Of course, there are so many of them. Let's check. We have stable diffusion, which is very popular. We have um, video dubbing, flux GIF. Um, you can see some of them here. Flux animator, cre animation creator, uh, pix to pix video. Um, so you can select anyone, and let's try to on our own generate. Let's use this stable diffusion to generate a short video from an image. Let's click on this. And let's try to generate an image, a video from this. So let's in, insert an image. Let's import an image from our library. All right. So let's say I have this, um, let's say I have the image of this Malay guy and I want him to dance. All right. So let's say it's ready. We can click on generate. All right. And you can see our video is ready. Let's click to play. You can see it is dancing, but it's not as um, as good as uh, what we expect. But still, the video is uh, is generated. All right. So you can try any one of them. Yeah, let's go back to spaces. Uh, let me try to see one more. There's this one that is called reverse image search. Okay, very very interesting. If they send you an image and you don't know who this person is, you can do reverse image search and you can find out exactly who is the person. And this AI tool is going to help you to uh, go backward to find that particular person that they send you. It's going to find you relevant images to that person. All right, so let's say this is free reverse image search. Someone send you an image, for example, let's say we have this image of Kevin. Uh, assuming I don't know who this person is and we can do reverse search and we're going to know exactly who he is. So we can do reverse search and he's going to search the web web, and he's going to give you a lot of images that involve uh, this particular person. And you can see, um, you can see he's this one, this one, this one, even this one he is. I'm not sure if he's here. This one also, we can see this one also is the same person. This one also is the same person. Even though it's not completely perfect, but it has fetched most of the images that involves Kevin. You can see this is him. This is not him. Uh, this is not him, I'm sure. But this is him. You can see fantastically it has fetched so many images of him. Um, just to show you the power of this particular AI tool. All right, so let's uh, have this image of mine. Uh, let's see whether it is going to find something close to this uh, of me. Reverse search. All right. So I think it has faced quite a lot of people, but I think none of them is me. Yeah, it has picked this and it has picked this and all of them are me. Okay, so this is 
This is really wonderful, actually. Yeah, so it has actually fresh some things um, related to me, you can see. So this is very, very wonderful. You can always come back to spaces and you can keep trying uh, different models of your choice, different AI tools. You can just go ahead and explore them. You can see a lot of them that you can. There's image of scalar, virtual Q&A, uh, chatbots, sediment, um, sentiment analysis, text summarization, music generation, and so on. You can generate music directly with this. You can see music gen. You can generate music from text and so many of them. So just go ahead and give it a try. You can sort by the most relevant or the most trending and it's going to give you um, the ones that you can use. Okay. Or if you have a specific AI tool, you can search for it in here and be able to have access to it to do anything that you want. All right. So you can chat with PDF documents. For example, let's go here and say PDF. Uh, we can hit on enter and you can see different kind of pdf elements the chatbots that you can use you can convert manage and convert pdfs easily maybe to anything to word to maybe excel or something uh, you can see this is upload a pdf to chat about its content so you can let's try this one and let's see how, how how fantastic this can be so all you need is drag and drop the pdf file over here let's say i'm going to use this and it's just going to upload and i'm going to ask it simple questions so it's been uploaded successfully ask a question about the document so so what are the forces acting on a dam so let's see whether it's going to give us this answer you can see um water pressure off lift pressure sea page loads this is very correct okay so so what what formulas can you can you start can you state can you write from this document okay you can see them it has written it even though the writing is not um correctly written but at least it has done a good job uh they are content related to dam failure modes here i know they are not but let's see whether it's going to pick something no, no, the provided context does not contain any content related to dam failure mode. So that is the power of this AI tool. So you can continue to chat with it about the different um, different things that you want and go ahead and explore. Try any one of them. All of them are completely free. Even the ones that are paid in other platforms, you can still have access to them for free. You can see even this mid journey. You can have access to it for free and you can do whatever you want to generate the images or you can do image to vectors and so many, many other things. All you need is to specify what you want and this platform can do it for you. So basically, this concludes this tutorial about the use of more than 1000 AI tools, um, uh, AI chatbots completely for free. So just please feel free to go ahead and try it and see what you can generate with this what you can create with this, how it's going to help you in your content creation or in your, your content creation or in your academic field. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.